Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai. It could be any Hyundai such as Hyundai Elantra, it could be Hyundai Tucson, Santa Fe, Accent, uh, it could be Hyundai uh, Sonata, it could be Veloster, any Hyundai guys. We have engine light on any of the following two codes such as code P1114 or code P P1115. Stay with us, we will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. It could be multiple things, but in today's video guys, we will explain okay how to uh, how to find out what it is how to test the different components what's wrong and if you don't do one thing right you can severely damage your Hyundai engine so make sure to stand to the end and we will explain what that is in addition we will share which computer we use for diagnostics because many of you guys constantly ask me in the comment section below to share good computer for Hyundai diagnostics as well if you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything for your Hyundai guys, okay, we're going to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can save you even more money and provide even more videos. Now, if you have a Hyundai, you want to check guys our second channel it's called electrical car repair life we are going to share so much helpful information about diagnostics engine codes and things like that there as well so definitely check it out specifically guys 2013 Hyundai that we're working on here now let's explain what can cause that we have the air filter box removed intake hose removed why because we want to show you the sensor that most likely causes that and we will explain how to test it and what else it could be guys this sensor okay right here this is known as a coolant okay uh, coolant temperature sensor this one right here in most cases on most Hyundai's it will be located on the thermostat housing you can see like that there will be a clip holding it or a bolt and the old thermostat is right here so it's really close to the cylinder head or on some older Hyundai's it could be even actually installed on the cylinder head the purpose of that sensor it's pretty simple guys it tells the engine computer okay how hot the coolant is so it can actually adjust everything such as fuel timing uh, ignition uh, radiator fan or that stuff so everything is controlled by that little bitty sensor and if it fails it's very likely you will get these codes now if you guys okay replace that thing there is one thing that you need to do and make sure you stand till the end we'll explain what it is if you don't do it you can damage your engine but what else can cause that okay always always inspect the wiring harness make sure inside you don't have uh, spilled coolant or uh, engine oil sometimes it's really close to the valve cover right here you can see so it can if you have a bad gasket it can drip engine oil and on the wires and that can affect it make sure it's poured all the way in and make sure the wires are not broken here as well guys we've seen that happen as well now uh, uh, that's the most uh, common guys things for that sensor and if you want to see how to test coolant temperature sensor on Hyundai we have the video on the channel so please guys check it out now uh, let's explain which computer we use guys before we continue this is it maxicom we will put the link in the description of the video below it works on almost any car you can think of it's amazing too you can uh, hyundai is right here you can access every computer in your hyundai and for instance that 2013 hyundai has 17 computers and newer ones have even more than that you can read every code uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, 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 you can read codes from every computer delete codes and see live data which makes it a super powerful tool but now let's go back to the sensor let's explain guys okay when you replace that sensor you have to follow one certain procedure and what is this uh, you guys need to drain the coolant right and you have to safely do that otherwise you can severely okay burn yourself so you need to know how to do that we have a video on the channel that explains how to drain coolant on uh, Hyundai Sonata that will cover multiple Hyundai models then when you replace that sensor you need to add coolant but uh, the thing about that guys is you don't just add coolant you have to bleed the cooling system after that and if you don't do it right you can severely overheat your engine so always bleed the cooling system once you replace that sensor hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 